pay the price also. So that is also that. Now, let me take the expectations that the tester has to do, right? I am taking a new slide, okay? As and when we talk, I am going to type it on this, right? What a tester needs to do in ETL. Number one, the very, very, very fundamental stuff, right? Clear grasp of source data format. So what you need to do is, if you are talking about 10 different formats coming to you, make samples. Understand that source data format. Uh, just to have a quick thing for you, imagine that we have an enter, uh, employee database, uh, a source coming in this format, right? Employee name, uh, James, then 11.11.1999 um, as the date of birth, then uh, male or female M as a character for that gender, then date of uh, joining as uh, something like that, or the designation as XYZ. What you need to do is understand the format. The format of the source data, if there are 100 different formats for your ETL, you need to know all the 100 formats. Make samples. This will help you in clarity. Without doing this, don't jump into ETL at all. So understand a clear group of source. Same way, target format and table structures. What is my target database? Whether it is a single table, right? Whether it is multiple table, for each table what is the structure you need to know. These two are fundamental. Then the third thing is source data x. Where does it go to target? For example, employee name or date of joining or salary or designation, I may know it from where it is in the database source. What is its target location? Which table? Right? Table slash column. We need to know. This is a mapping. This is a typical mapping of that information. So unless you know that, otherwise how will you verify? Okay, I am giving you as input in this place. Finally, when I run this ETL process, it has to go and then sit in that particular table. I have to do a query. How do I know that? So if you need to do a test, source must be clear, target location must be clear, then what is the transform logic. For example, part numbers, a simple logic, part numbers must be nine characters. If it is less than nine characters, it must be padded with, prefixed with spaces. So that's a conversion process. Every transformation logic you need to understand and we must have positive and negative tests for every transform logic. You need to do that because you have to apply the positive testing and negative testing for the logic because the coding happens mostly by the developers in the transformation area. Extraction also may be a slightly a query but it may not do a lot of data massaging. But transform logic is almost like a program. So you need to have a lot of positive and negative tests for the transformation logic. These are the very, very fundamental stuff. Without doing this, right? If Without doing this, right? Again, I, I have not finished, okay? Though it is 4.29 by time, I may be exceeding by another 5 minutes. Hope it is okay with you all guys, right? Uh, because I don't want to end abruptly, we need to have a concrete closure on this. 
this is fundamental that means you are testing what the system is supposed to do now now the simple thing is additionally what you need to do is performance test of source and target that means load thousands of files millions of records continuously see what happens so you may have to prepare very big file each file with 100 megabytes of data as source see what happens to the target another thing is this is another area the third important area is run kill recover okay every one of you please tell it yourself run kill recover run kill recover right very important because what happens is when you are doing etl process halfway through the system may stop you are running the etl process it has extracted it has done transformation halfway through it is loading kill the process when you kill the process imagine it has loaded part of the records it has not loaded part of the records and if you load it again what will happen is it going to give you another again another error or is it going to recover from that so typically there is there are some principle like all or none there is a principle either it loads all the records or it is not loading any of the records very very important test run kill recover this is very very important test for etl test so halfway through extraction stop the process halfway through transformation stop the process restart the process halfway through loading stop the process restart the process what happens ideally you should not lose data there should be no data loss right no data loss or no data corruption by any chance this is almost like a recovery test your machine is running you abruptly switch off the machine you start windows is saying system was shut down improperly i want to do a disk check it is recovering automatically checking for any problems same way in etl functionality is important performance is important more than that i have never seen any etl running like a cake walk every day always there will be a problems but a wrong extraction a wrong loading a, tran a wrong transformation should not mess up the existing data this is a very very important test so as a tester all said and done this is i am just telling it in one slide it is going to take a lot of time so make sure that you test all these areas right so with that we we come to the end of the webinar and i i thank you for your time as i said Uh, we are this is a session sponsored by openmentor.net this session is taken by nagarajan this is me uh, from softsmith infotech we are also partners to glides.com in ireland so if you have any testing related training requirements uh, send us the information to the same webinar email id that you have got very happy to get associated with you people for the last one hour um we will be conducting a lot more webinars than this through openmentor.net typically wednesday is ideal and this 3:30 to 5:30 4:30 time in the india time zone is ideal for most of the people we'll meet again next wednesday you'll be getting emails from us in terms of what will be the next webinar thanks a lot i'll be ending this webinar now over the weekend the recorded session of this one will be uploaded in youtube 